Thank you, Madam Chair. Excellencies, allow me to thank Minister Rosmani and his able team for hosting us in Skopje and commend the work of the Chair throughout the challenging year marked, unfortunately, by the unjustifiable war in Ukraine. Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine was uncalled for. This absurd war has multiplying consequences to the security and stability of our continent, but also for the rest of the world. The use of force cannot and should not replace the rule of law. Respect to international law and the international legal order must prevail. Cyprus, itself a victim of foreign aggression since 1974, has been adamant that Ukraine's independent sovereignty and territorial integrity with its international recognized borders must be respected. Revisionist policies and the use of force and coercion to change borders has no place in the 21st century. In the meantime, the situation unfolding in Nagorno-Karabakh is also of grave concern and with grave repercussions that need to be urgently addressed. It is imperative to protect the human rights and the fundamental freedoms of all displaced people, including their undeniable right to return safely to their homes. Azerbaijan has a responsibility to provide substantial guarantees. It is our firm position, the full respect to the sovereignty, innovability of borders and territorial integrity of both Azerbaijan and Armenia. There is no room for double standards on this. Madam Chair, despite the grave challenges, the OSC remains the most important regional platform for security and cooperation. OSC was created with them to prevent war and build bridges. Sometimes we will fail, but the perseverance of peace and cooperation should be our collective compass. OSC and multilateralism must be preserved, not at the expenses of our values, but on building upon and safeguarding them. Rules-based order and commitment to our fundamental values must prevail. We want to recall what brought us together and reaffirm our commitment for mutual respect, peace, security, and stability in the OSC area and beyond. This is our collective responsibility. In this framework, I wish to emphasize the importance that we attach to the cooperation with our Asian and Mediterranean partners. As regards the latter, it is our firm belief that the security of the OSC area is inextricably linked to that of the Mediterranean region. In this respect, we condemn the recent Hamas terrorist attacks against Israel and acknowledge the right of Israel to defend itself always in the line with the international law. Civilians pay the heaviest price, and in these regards, we call for the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages and provision of humanitarian aid to the people in Gaza. Cyprus has offered to help with a comprehensive proposal on humanitarian aid. Madam Chair, as regards the decisions at stake, the North Macedonia Chairmanship, along with Secretary General Helga Schmidt, as well as the heads of the three autonomous institutions, managed, despite the challenging circumstances, to navigate effectively our organization. We fully support the nomination of Malta for the Chairmanship in Office for 2024 and welcome the consensus achieved. We also strongly support the extension of the mandate of the Secretary General and the heads of the three autonomous institutions beyond 2023. Cyprus will assume the chair chairpersonship of the forms of security and cooperation in January, and I can assure you that we will exert all efforts to preserve the effective functioning of our organization while standing up for an international rules-based order in full respect of the United Nations Charter and the OSC principle and commitments. Thank you, Madam Chair.